Hi, how are you doing? I'm Gary Colton and today I want to talk about something that most business people don't think about and that's how emotionally attached you are to your business. Now, we are in the middle, in the UK at least, of the second COVID lockdown and things for business leaders are tough. It doesn't matter whether you're a small business or a big business. A few in the digital world, online retailers, for example, are doing very nicely, thank you. But pretty much everyone else is struggling or failing. Now, the question is, are you too emotionally attached to your business? Because if you are, it will break you. Just think about that. It will break you as a person. The other side of the coin is emotional engagement. And I want to explain briefly the difference between the two and how you can be less attached and more engaged. Because if you're engaged, good things will happen to you as a person and potentially your business. So let's look at attachment. Well, we should be attached to the important things in our lives. You should be emotionally attached to your business, but not at your expense nor anybody else's. You should be attached to the people you love more than anything else. But when emotional attachment becomes obsessive, there lie the demons. So what I want to do is give you the insight to be able to move into emotional engagement. So what's emotional engagement? Emotional engagement is being able to access your own emotions in real time. It's perfectly good to be sad. It's perfectly good to be scared. It's perfectly good to be angry when it's appropriate. But what is it that you do because of those emotions? And how do you engage your emotions with other people's emotions to be positive? So this is all about being attached to something in the future that may or may not happen or engaged with your emotions in the here and now. Now, you might have heard of mindfulness and some people love the concept. Some people think it's hooey, but I love the definition of mindfulness of Diana Winston. Now, Diana is the director of mindfulness education at UCLA, at their Semmel Institute. They have a mindfulness awareness research center. And Diana's definition of mindfulness, and I have to read this, is paying attention to our present moment experiences with openness and curiosity and a willingness to be with what is. That's not accepting what is. It's just being willing to accept the reality of what is. Because if you do that, especially your emotional response to a particular situation, gives you power to do something. So what I would like to do in closing the video is invite you to find someone who you can work with to help you separate your attachment, which might be becoming obsessive because of the stress that you're under, and rather engage your emotions and use them as nature intended. Because if you get it right, your relationships with your workforce, with yourself, relationships with your customers will improve. It's just how you bring those new engagements into the world, how you behave, how your company behaves and how you help your customers behave. If you get that link between you and your customers based on your core values and emotional engagement, your customers will make the decision to buy from you. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll be doing a few more on uh, related and different subjects in the coming weeks. So thank you very much.